Hello everyone, I'm Apurva Pandita and welcome to Live Law. In a recent case, the Delhi High Court has granted bail to the owner of a company called Sri Balaji Trading Company. This case involves the interception of a truck carrying licorice roots, that is Muleti, from Afghanistan at the Atari border in Punjab's Amritsar last year. The truck was found to contain a significant amount of heroin weighing 102.136 and 0.648 kilograms. The court observed that based on initial assessment, it appeared that the owner, Vipin Mithil, was used as an intermediary without knowledge of the smuggled contraband. This means that he was not aware that the truck he was involved with contained illegal drugs. The court found reasonable grounds to believe that Mithil's guilt may not be proven and there was no evidence to suggest that he would commit any offence while on bail. Justice Anish Dayal explained that Mithil cannot be held responsible for conscious possession of the contraband since the drugs were intercepted, that is seized, before they came into his possession. From the sequence of events and the available facts, it seemed that Mithil was acting as a trader, unaware of the hidden drugs in the consignment. He was simply consigning the goods at a commercial price and selling them to a named buyer for a reasonable profit. The court noted that there was no evidence to indicate any discussion about the contraband between Mithil and the Afghan exporter. The case was filed under various sections of the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances, that is the NDPS Act, and the charge sheet was filed in December 2022. The National Investigation Agency, that is NIA, conducted the investigation and alleged that Vipin Mithil intended to make substantial profits from smuggling heroin concealed in licorice roots. But the court took note of the Mithil's clean antecedents and his reputation in the industry, as evidenced by various certificates of appreciation. There was no apparent connection between Mithil and other accused persons involved in the recovery of the drugs. The court further emphasized that the acceptance of rupees 11 lakhs in cash as an advance for the consignment appeared to be part of a regular trading deal and there was no indication of any unreasonable gain in Mithil's possession. Additionally, certain sections of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, that is UAPA, were struck off from the charge sheet, indicating that there was no evidence on terror-related activity. There was no evidence presented by the investigation to show that Mithil had engaged in any specific conversation related to the contraband. And finally, the court took into consideration his critical illness of blood cancer. It noted that he needed regular medical care and attention. Moreover, the court found that he was not likely to try and escape justice because he had deep roots in Delhi and a clean track record, meaning he had no previous involvement in illegal activities. In summary, the Delhi High Court granted bail to Vipin Mithil, the proprietor of Sri Balaji Trading Company, in a case involving the interception of a truck carrying licorice roots from Afghanistan containing hidden heroin. The court found reasonable grounds to believe that Mithil was unaware of the contraband and that he was merely acting as a trader. The court considered his clean antecedents, reputation, lack of windfall gain and critical medical condition in making the decision. This brings us to the end of this video. We really hope that you like our content and if you do, then do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And for more legal updates, keep watching Life Law.